Moving on from one uh, tacky asshole to another, uh, we, we want to talk for a second about uh, Mike Huckabee and Mike Huckabee's amazing uh, comedic talent. You know, I mean, you know, you're yeah, a yeah. professional comedian, David. Yeah. You appreciate, you know, humor, the, the the craft of joke writing. He's mm-hmm. been known to yeah. appreciate a humor. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's amazing about Huckabee is that, and this is this is for the audience members who aren't on Twitter all the time, because if you are, you know about Mike Huckabee. Somewhere last year, he decided, oh, I'm never going to be president. I lost my job on Fox News. I'm going to become a Twitter joke guy. And that's what he does now. He does hilarious Twitter jokes and like for faves and retweets, basically. Uh, it all started during the Democrat, during the uh, debates, the fall debates, uh, after he got knocked out at, towards the end of the Democratic um, race when during one of the Democratic debates, he, t- he said, I trust sent Bernie Sanders with my tax dollars like I trust a North Korean chef with my Labrador. <laughs> Folks. Oh. Or my sons Folks. with that same dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. David, so, you're familiar with that anecdote about his, his sons oh, yeah. killing a dog? Yeah. yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. That's but, so he got like a lot of people got mad at him about that joke. I mean, not to mention the fact it doesn't make sense. Like, why has it got to be North Korea? That's up? the pro. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. That's, <laughs> that's the issue, I believe. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't follow that many people on Twitter, but the people who have problems with Huckabee's jokes are that they just they don't, don't make, sense. make sense they don't make sense it's it's not it's it goes beyond like that's yeah, not, not a well-crafted or, joke yeah. <laughs> like here's another one this is when schumer like he just shed a tear i forget what it was about he shed a tear about i think it was he about dropped the a penny down the the Muslim right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> he had was, he had to fill the sewer in order to make the penny rise so he could get it so no, he, he that's an aesop fable he's a senator who cried yeah. but the tears yeah. Made, it was <laughs> about the Muslim ban. I remember now, and he cried on on during a press conference. And Huckabee tweeted, "Breaking news from Hollywood: Senator Chuck Schumer cast a lead role for remake of Boys Don't Cry." But he cried, which is the opposite <laughs> yeah. of the name of the movie. Right? Is he saying that Schumer's a trans man? Because that's what the movie is yeah. like. Does he just like that movie? <laughs> He thinks it's a comedy, <laughs> but like yeah. some like. Also, you, you know what else is not necessary is breaking news from Hollywood. Yeah, you don't need that part. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got 140 whatever characters, yeah. so oh, we, you we, don't need. Breaking I think he news still from thinks Hollywood. that like Walter Winchell is around and like <laughs> using the Telegraph, <laughs> <laughs> the latest <laughs> gossip yeah. from the from the from the from the movie camp in Hollywood, California. Oh, we just got a bulletin from Hollywood. Here's the celebrities <laughs> have made news. <laughs> breaking news from Hollywood land. Uh, Clark Gable has agreed to be. Uh, yeah. Uh, but like, even when he's not doing political stuff, sometimes they're just like banal. Like, made venison chili for Super Bowl from deer I hunted last year. It was truly Super Bowl of chili. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. a well-crafted joke. Yeah. 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 But speaking of ones that don't make wait, sense. Wait, wait, read that again. Wait, read, it, read it again. <laughs> made it. venison chili for Super Bowl from deer I hunted last year. It is truly Super Bowl, in all caps, of chili. It is truly... A <laughs> super bowl no. of chili. No, not it is truly super bowl no. of chili. I think just, you're all bearing no the lead here. This is year old meat. Oh wow! It freezes. It freezes. It's, fine. it's disgusting. It's fine. Yeah, it's that not meat- disgusting. You you kill it. You get. I have I have zero problems with hunting for your own food. I grew oh, up yeah. eating you, venison, but it's yeah. gross. A year no, later. No, you free you freeze it and then you pull it out of the freezer and you make it. It's fine. And then it's gross. No, it's yeah, not you, gross. It is not gross. It, You're it, wrong. I've had it it's too. Absolutely it's no. It's Do you bad. like Shake Shack? I grew up with it. It's, it's very bad. It's fine. Yeah, it's you also just, like so you don't like venison. That's fine. But it, it, it it's you're not going to lose quality if you if you freeze it when it's freshly killed. You know, and, and you dress it and you gut it and everything. Uh, well, not in that order, but then uh, uh, you freeze it. Ground meat freezer burns, though. Yeah, that's it true. Does. I mean, yeah, like, right. it's fine. We got to get Huckabee on this. He'll tell us. <laughs> yeah, you just put your landmines in the woods and the deer steps on it. And boom. <laughs> you he know just scrapes it yeah. out of the trees. <laughs> yeah. uh, Samson slew Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. CNN, now known as Samson Channel, reports news with jawbone of an ass. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. You, well, you really need Huckabee here to, you know, where nobody, you read him the tweet, yeah. everybody can laugh at it, and then you get one minute of silence, nobody interrupts, and, you just, and the premise is he just explains the tweet. And if he wraps it up in 12 seconds, then you, you hang out for 48 seconds before you move to the next one in silence. I don't think he could do it. I mean, I think mostly he just tweets when he's hungry. 
<laughs> because most of them have food. That in them, dude you know? is always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> because every one of his, almost all of them are about food. Like the insane one he did for Cinco de Mayo that I have been thinking about since the day because I still haven't figured it out. Like I haven't made sense of what it makes, what was supposed to be the joke. For Cinco de Mayo, I will drink an entire jar of hot salsa and watch old Speedy Gonzalez cartoons and speak Spanish all day. Happy Cinco de Mayo. It's the, what? It's the drinking the jar of hot salsa. Like, does he mean the extra, the spicy kind, like the the hot brand of you know? I like to think he put that's in a what he means. Yeah. Let's, let's be fair. He means like hot spicy salsa. Yeah. He's spicy. But he means- I'm thinking in my mind that he microwaved a jar of salsa <laughs> and then just drank out of it. Like I don't a think that's Mary. fair. I don't think that's fair. I think he meant spicy salsa. <laughs> yeah. Let's give him a chance here. So he oh meant, okay, I'm going to, for, for Cinco de Mayo, the, the, uh, the day which we, we uh, appropriated to uh, pretend to be aware of Mexican culture, uh, I'm going to have some hot salsa. I'm going to drink, going to shoot it, going to have a whole thing. All right, that's not funny, but it's like, well, hey, old Mike's. <laughs> Mike's up to his old single to Mayo tricks. And then then the next thing was, uh, what is he going to do? Uh, uh, he's going to watch old Speedy Gonzalez cartoons. Okay. Again, that's kind of obvious. It's, I mean, anybody under the age of 40, I don't know if they're going to get that. But okay, so he's going to watch Speedy Gonzalez films. Uh, or you know, uh, on Criterion, he's got a, he's got a subscription to Criterion Collection. Uh, what? Luis Bunel directed the Speedy yeah. Gonzalez movie. It's fantastic. And that was the other thing. And then he's uh, gonna... speak Spanish all day. Speak Spanish all day. It's just so three it's not, things it's related not to funny. No, but I mean they are Mexican. It's festive. They like, are Mexican. But he's trying to like get a reaction. I guess he's thinking people are going to get mad because they're stereotypes. But like, how are you not supposed to get caught up on the drinking and charge? I think you think that he's a. Uh... Trolling. Well, he does. Yeah, like I'm not sure if that's. Tro- I'm not sure if that's trolling. I'm gonna go with it. Okay, but he does troll on other ones. But I don't know what it is if it's not trolling. I honestly, I don't, don't know. know either. It's not a it, joke, and if it's not trolling, maybe it's literal. Maybe he literally is gonna do that. I guess he's just like saying what he's gonna do that day. That's like the only explanation. If it's trolling, it's so weak that you don't. It's it's confusing because. Uh, you, like, what's the point of the troll? Yeah, he You're could not, just be virulently racist. Yeah, like. Yeah. He's Mike Huckabee. But is it is that even racist? But that's just it. It's is like, that even it, it racist? It can't be trolling because of how weak it is. But what else is it? I think it's an effort to be like lightly racist. Brett, get uh, Mike Huckabee on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you know. I bet his phone number is in the Podesta emails when he <laughs> called Comet Ping Pong asking if it was all you can eat. <laughs> But like they are all about food. Well, Matt, do you have the one where he the Freudian slip one where the typo about food? Which oh yeah 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 <laughs> that's a different one. Uh, this one and then I'll, I'll get that one. Uh, this is uh, when the GOP uh, basically caved on the budget that they just passed, where there's not all the cuts that were supposed to be in it that, for the that they wanted. Oscar Mayer rolls out new weenie, all pork, called the GOP. Artificial taste and ingredients lose weight, makes you sick if you eat it. He's just describing hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Experience he had with hot dogs. This one's got a, a, another layer right. to it. Oscar, yeah, this is an E.E. E. Cummings Oscar poem. Meyer rolls out new weenie. All pork, called the GOP. Artificial taste and ingredients. Lose weight. Makes you sick if you eat it. Okay, let's, let's go back to it's a wiener. It's a not weenie. a weenie. Well, <laughs> is it a weenie? Is it maybe? Is it like? Is that like a 1920s no, campfire that's the thing. thing? It's like he writes like one of the cats and chambers kids. Like he's got a <laughs> propeller beanie on at all times and wearing the short pants. But like, who says weenie? Nobody. Who, no, nobody says yeah. wiener anyway. It, nobody said. And, but, but it's it's an Oscar it's Mayer Oscar wiener. wiener. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is what it is. Yeah. It's wiener. Yeah, it's wiener. So he got that wrong. He's got that wrong right off the bat. Even though it's an archaic yeah. old <laughs> reference. Right. Yeah. 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 He fucked up his own old man. This is like one of those inscrutable Tea Party protests, like where they show up in front of Paul. Ryan's house with hot dog carts <laughs> ringing bells and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but the one that Will was talking about, the food problem, is this is a total uh, Freudian slip. And he never, he didn't delete it or anything. It's a picture of him and his daughter who works in the White House and this terrifying goon named Dr. Mike Evans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he looks, it looks like either a televangelist or like one of the Phantasm guy's kids. It's nightmarish. Okay, let me but, take a look. Uh, there he is. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the hairline. Oh, that's total televangelism. Yeah. 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 But he goes, with Dr. Mike Evans and my baby girl Sarah at Friends of Zion Museum in Jerusalem, 
food meeting up with Sarah for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He meant good, probably. But he didn't write good. No, he meant mood, <laughs> comma, <laughs> meeting up with... Yeah, and the thing is, like, at this point, he's so into the persona that he's doing things like trying to get on the topical train. Like, not just politics. Like, oh, what's everybody tweeting about? Mm-hmm. Fire Festival? You guys are talking about the Fire Festival? Well, more disastrous than the Fire Festival was the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Like my cockabee. It's my cockabee. I like I, I like Huckabee so much because when we first saw him, like on a national level, it was in 2008, and it was like everyone kind of knew John McCain wasn't going to win, and Huckabee was like the good Republican because he was like, uh, I don't think Sarah Palin should hang Obama in effigy at her rallies anymore. <laughs> and, but then he kept trying to run after that, like he kept trying to be what John McCain was, the honorable Republican who finally got the nod, and it just kept it didn't happen. It just never happened for him. He never placed that high, and. He was initially known for losing all the weight, but he he became fatter and fatter and more bitter and bitter. And did now what he is now? He's like well, an he, open mic. The thing is, he lost weight to run for president in two thousand eight. He got lap band surgery, and he wrote a book called "Stop Digging Your Grave with a Knife and Fork." And like his his like sort of lifestyle issue was America's too fat, and we got to do something about it. But then people said, "Fuck you!" And then he basically like. Broke his yeah, own way lap to bite band. the hand that feeds. He so like to speak. ate himself into like his lap band exploding. Well, you remember what it was? It was the Chick Fil A thing where yeah. all the yeah. conservatives were eating Chick Fil A, <laughs> engorging themselves on fried chicken to prove some point or other. <laughs> I'll and show you. It's barely he was fried chicken. That charge. Virgil, it's I, barely fried chicken. He it's it, not. It's breaded. Chicken. Come on now. It, if yeah. Mike Let's Huck- be fair to Chick Fil A. I've only eaten there once. It, if it, Mike Huckabee, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> if Mike Huckabee wrote that book now, it'd be called a uh, new grave digging. Tools. It's called a fork, <laughs> but the dirt is food. And then, uh, <laughs> Kore- Korean people have sideways pussies. I'm not talking to y'all. <laughs> and he went from that book to when he ran again in twenty uh, to in twenty twelve or t- two thousand sixteen. With a diff book called God, Guns, Grits, and Gravy. Oh, wait, so was- he had totally reversed. Just like, fuck it, eat. Just eat. Yeah. Who cares? Right.